You know when to stand up. No, you're not standing up. <laughs> standing up to your person. So it feels like connected still from the one yesterday where you took a step back, but now you're showing you have full control of the situation. You don't give an F or any alphabet. Is an emperor, is Martian. So you mean business. Having this as your first card, your person is determined to only get what you want and you don't settle. It's Martian, 0 to 100. You're basically flexing at this point. Alrighty, Scorpios. Welcome to my channel. I'm Sal. I do the readings here every day for your career, your finances, and your relationship. I also do say Dear Astrology, but right now I'm not accepting any charts. But if you want to get, you know, uh, when I announce when it's available, you can download our app, Eat, Read, Love. It's down there. We have it both available in Apple and Android, okay? So let's see what you guys have. I also teach people how to manifest using different kinds of techniques. So welcome to the new people here. Eat, Read, Love, if you're not familiar, is a wonderful jewelry store here in Los Angeles. We make custom bracelets right here, mm -hmm. crystal bracelet. And of course, I do tarot, astrology on the side here and there. So talk about empowerment. I'm emperor and empowerment. Ooh, you want relationship. I can't say don't we all because nah. <laughs> don't you all, right? Having a Venus ruled seventh house, which is Taurus, right? Um, you probably want to have something that, you know, is stable, you know, because this is Taurus. Mm. You want someone long term. You want a structure in this relationship. And again, you're not settling anything less besides a full-on committed relationship. I don't know if it's married, uh, marriage in the cards. The Hierophant is a church. It's a symbol of, uh, how do you call it, religious, uh, like, temple. So that's that one. Or you could also be connecting with a Taurus. Okay. Ooh, it's giving recon. Reconciliation. <laughs> Six of Cups. Are you going to give into this, Scorpio? Oh, I don't know. I don't know how you tell me. Well, I don't know. Six of Cups is it's, it's giving relationship vibes. It's giving hidden desire. It's forgiveness. That, that It's not in your vocabulary, though. So chances are someone wants to be back with you. Okay. Don't they all? I think that's the, that's the word for you guys today. Don't they all sell the moon? Can be a Cancerian. So someone has some desire to be with you, and I don't see that you're entertaining them. The moon with the Six of Cups, it's more of just an idea. Have they texted? Have they called? I don't think so. Let me see what's going on in your chart also. Of course, Venus is in the first house I mentioned yesterday. Um, so don't forget, I upload every day. So just in case you miss out the one, it's not even 24 hours when I upload it. Make sure you watch that. Um, I'm seeing here that, you know, you attract, of course, Venus in the first house, very, very attractive. You know, um, these are people who, because either you want the luminaries, which is the sun or the moon in the first house. Sun, of course, kingly. Moon is queenly, meaning very, very hypnotic if it's the moon. But Venus is beauty, right? So this person, I feel, is heavily attracted to you. Uh, we got 25 degrees here in Scorpio. So eight of wands. I mean, it sits there still, Venus, justice. You're open to talk, to have a conversation with your person. Yesterday, I feel like you're waiting for them to talk to you. Right now, I feel like things has changed. Since the eight of wands and the justice card is here, it's giving, okay, Let's see where this is going. Justice is the relation, relationship, of course, reciprocity. You want balance. Eight of Wands can be a, a person far from you, long distance. Um, justice is equality in this connection. And this is what you're asking. If they want me, of course I want them back. Okay. So let's see. Maybe a Libra. Ooh. Alrighty. Wow. Why is it giving... It's giving you're upset with them. Five cups, but look at this. Two of cups. So someone tells you that they love you and they care for you, but you're upset? It doesn't make sense. Like, why? Oh. Why are you upset with a person who loves you? Hmm. Wonder why. So someone already expresses, and then you're not happy, you're not satisfied. What is your requirement? 
Now this is, I want to hear. Oh, okay. Sheesh, it's so hot here. My bracelet has burned me. Okay. The heater, sorry guys. Ouch. Okay, let me move this. Okay. First time I got burned. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Six of cups. Mm. I was about to tell you, I am the unburned. No, too much Game of Thrones. The unburned. So, six of wands here with the ace of pentacles. Your person is asking for a second chance. Oh, that's the part where you got disappointed. Another chance at this point. You know, it's a Russian relay at this point because it's almost as if like I'm playing okay, a dangerous game. Six of wands, ace of pentacles, and the six of cups. Okay. Hmm. Your person is trying to persuade you, but love is not enough. Uh, clearly, of course, love is never enough. It's not the only thing. It can be the start of a good relationship, but it will never be just the only factor. So when you look at your person, you know, six of ones is here. They're trying, but you look at them with disappointment. There's two crystals that everyone should have, citrine and obsidian. I'm telling you, I have manifested money, business, the house, the car, and of course, the relationship. So if you're stuck and you don't know what's going to happen in your 2024, turn it around today. Get your citrine and obsidian. Our website is eatreadlove.me. Now my question here is, what are you disappointed about with regards to your person? So... They're already asking here, begging, I feel, Ace of Pentacles with the Six of Cups, you know. The Six of Wands is a chase. So what has gotten into you? Ooh, Ten of Cups, the Judgment. Leave it to the Scorpio to make sure that the person is pressured. Okay. You only come to deliver. So for you, either you're with me or not with me. It's zero to 100 with a Scorpio. I mean, there is no middle ground. There's only Middle Earth at this point for you. Judgment and the Ten of Cups, you want them to express their feelings. I feel like they've done already, Scorpio. I feel like they've... What else? It's almost as if like you want blood at this point, you know. For you, it's not, um, it's not enough, you know. They can tell me all these things that they want from me. There is something that I want from them. I don't know. Is it kids? No, Sal. <laughs> Hush. I want no kids, Sal. <laughs> Family? I know. So let's see, and let's dive deeper. Oh, I forgot. <laughs> see, I got so deep into your read. <laughs> our collection is still available, of course, our winter collection, um, up to 50 up to fifty percent off, of course, with our stack. I This is my Obsidian and Citrine, my number one go-to. Remove negativity, attract prosperity. Don't wait for the last day of the sale because, you know, you never know. Maybe it's today. <laughs> so check it out. We do ship to more than 80 countries across the globe. And at the same time, free shipping in the U.S. Okay. So, your person wants to have something successful with you with the Six of Wands, with the Ace of Pentacles, Judgment, and Ten of Cups. You want them for yourself. Six of Pentacles, because the way that they're acting towards you is giving, you know, you're suspicious about them. So, now that someone wants to express their feelings and they're being truthful, I feel like they're being truthful, you don't believe them. Six of Pentacles and the Queen of Pentacles. So you're shutting down. I don't sense you have trust issues. Mm -hmm. Let me just one second. Okay. Um, the Queen of Pentacles with the Six of Pentacles. It's like you, everything that you try to figure out with your person, it's like it's never what it is. So now you're skeptic. Okay. Prince of Wands. The Four of Wands. So the proof is in the pudding for you. Okay. So there's no lying here. I don't know what we're really trying to figure out, Scorpio, here at this point. Because it's giving all the best. Okay. Ten of Cups is good. Four of Wands is good. Two of Cups is good. Six of Cups is good. Ace of Pentacles is good. But when you do this whole justice card, the pros and cons, you're not convinced. It's almost as if like this is a deal, meaning how much am I getting for what I'm committing to? And it's never enough for you. This, I'm just saying, it's never enough because the four of one is wonderful. Mm -hmm. Why don't you believe your person? That's my question. Seven of Pentacles because it involves waiting. Ooh, yep, that's true. 
you can tell everything to the Scorpio, but if you tell them, you know, like, but I need some time. I need to think about it. You know, I want to be with you. I love you, this and that. But once, you know, you tell the Scorpio, you know, but I need some time. Seven of Pentacles. That's where the headache comes from. So now the Scorpios are impatient, of course, with your Lagna Lord right now. Kumbas. It's four more days. You probably a little bit. Um, you know, you have an emperor right there. Unsettled. You feel unsettled. Unsettled because you know that there's someone in the picture. Ooh, now we're clearly seeing your person. Okay. Three of Cups and the Five of Wands. This is giving the reason why your person is not yet with you 100 is they have, let's just say Five of Wands there. There are some things that they have to close ties with. Three of Cups is someone that they're involved with. Let's see. And the Lovers, a choice. I see. I've done this reading, I believe, I've either in the Gemini or a Sag, where Two of Cups and the Lover comes in. So let's just say for you, Scorpio, your person shares the Two of Cups. They're, they're very much in love with you. But the Lovers is that they are intimate with someone else. They're on a Sammy. So this is a person who is, um, well, I have to be honest here, uh, they're kind of, in, what do you call that? Uh, they're rowing in the boat in two seas. I forgot what it's called. So you, you know now that's the reason why you have a judgment here. Masculine there and there's still feminine. So you're making your person choose. Okay. That's why it's not enough. Okay. Now, there's an extended reading to this, of course. It's down there. I'm not sure if you can trust your person at this point with their intention. But there are some good things. I'm seeing it here. You do have a star card, but there's more to this than meets the eye. They have a seven of swords. So let's see what that is. What your person hasn't revealed to you. And it is more of like your gut feeling. That's why you're still not seeing. Ooh, okay. Mm -mm. Oh. I'm not sure if you're going to accept this deal from your person. Oh, but there is something probably that you need to know. There is something that is going to turn around either their favor or your favor. I took another deck and it's a Will of Fortune. Find out more, link in the comments. I'll see you there. Hold on, hold on. You're here already and I have a free class for manifestation of love and money. And if you are serious, there's a free class in the description box below. Join me and learn more on how to manifest with a real gold PL.